Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a super glamorous look that is just perfect for Eid. If you want to see how I created this look, just keep watching. First, I used the Clinique moisturizer and I just worked it into the skin. The primer that I'm using today is the L'Oreal Magique Primer. This will give the skin a blurring effect and the foundation will go on just a little bit more smoothly. The foundation that I'm using today is the MAC Studio Fix Foundation in NC40. I'm just taking a foundation brush and applying this on my face. Next, I'm taking a flat top buffing brush and blending everything in. Now, I'm taking the Real Techniques Complexion Sponge, dampened with MAC Fix Plus. This will just uh, blend the foundation a little bit better and will smoothen everything out. Now I'm taking the same buffing brush and blending it down to my neck. Now I'm spraying my face with MAC Fix Plus again and just using a fan to dry it out a bit faster, that's all. The concealer I'm using today is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Medium Beige. I'm applying it where all I need it, under my eyes, on my forehead, my nose, and just wherever I have some blemishes and stuff. I'm using the same uh, Real Technique comp complexion sponge as before to blend that out as well. Now I'm taking the Kryolan Setting Powder in the shade TL4. I'm making sure to remove all creases before I pack the powder on. What I'm trying to do here all along is to leave a sharp angle near the eyes to act as a guide for the eyeshadow. I'm going to be baking my face with the same powder. The powder that we're leaving under the eyes is also going to catch the fallouts from the eyeshadow, so you want to make sure you pack it dense. Now, moving over to the eyes, I'm going to mix the shade Henna and Moon Dust from the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. I'm going to apply this on the outer edge of the eye and the crease. Now I'm going to use the shade Amber from the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette to warm up the eye area a bit. Next, I'm going to be using the shade Oud to add a bit of contrast in the outer way. Now, I'm going to take a clean brush and use the shade Musk from the same palette to blend the whole thing out. Then, I'm going to be using the same concealer that I used on my face to cut a half crease onto my eye. I'm using the shade Bay from the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette to just set the concealer in place. I'm going back in with the shade Moon Dust to blend the harsh line. Now, I'm using the Maybelline Black Gel Liner on a flat brush on the waterline as well as to tight line my top eyelids. Now again, I'm going to be taking some Moon Dust from the Rose Gold Palette on a flat brush and smudge everything out. To add some shimmer, I'm going into the Too Faced Naturalized Palette. I'm using the shade Silk Teddy to add some highlight in my inner corner, brow bone and my lid. After I've put on my lashes, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. I'm just going over my cheekbones, a little bit on the jawline and a bit on the forehead as well. Now I'm changing my brush and just going over the nose a bit. I'm going to take the pinkish shade from the Huda Beauty Highlighting Palette as a blush for some extra glow. Now I'm taking the light gold on a fan brush to add highlight on the high points of my face. On the lips, I'm using the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in Girlfriend. If you want to go for something simple and natural, this is where you stop. But if you want to step it up a little bit, you can just use a silver glitter eyeliner 
where we cut the crease. So that's the look completed. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys learned something from it. If you did learn something from it, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Eat Mubarak.